Hey guys, it's David, and this video is brought to you by Hidaro.com. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to read in HTML tables from a URL. Some of you might find this useful, um, so let's begin. So let's start by importing pandas. And um, let's show what version of pandas we're working with. We're on 23.4. So let me show you the websites I'm going to pull data from and then we're going to go ahead and do that. So first one is um, my, one of my little applications to practice pandas called pandas bootcamp. And in this website, you'll see that we have a HTML table there's only one so it should be pretty easy to pull and then the second one I went to bankrate.com and then you know they have a bunch of weird stuff uh, they got a lot of a lot of stuff here and but they also have a bunch of tables if you could tell and I'd be, I was curious to see what pandas will do with this kind of website so let's start with the first one let me copy this URL and let's go back to the notebook so we're gonna go d dot pd dot and then read html that's the one we're gonna go for if you open up to see the parameters by pressing shift tab they have a lot of parameters to choose from but we're really not gonna use any in this lesson we're just gonna slap in the um, url and see what happens so in quotes we're gonna put in the url and i'm gonna run this and hopefully there's no errors I didn't see any errors so now now one thing I want to show you what is what what does D return and it actually returns a list so I made a mistake of converting or creating a data frame and throwing the list inside of it but in reality this list contains data frames itself so you should see how big your list is and that's how many tables it found so for this first example we only found one table in the pandas bootcamp uh, website and to access it you just access it like a regular list d of zero will give you your data frame so we do that you'll see that this is a data frame and it pretty much did a good job you can see all the columns up to from date to string to and if you go back to the website it has those and it actually has 50 values it only shows uh, 10 in the screen but if you go back here and we do and when you scroll down you'll see that it picked up 50 and if we go df.info you'll see that it picks up, it makes some mistakes, right? The dates are not really, it picks up the data string, so we're gonna have to fix that. Picked up the numbers and the number two correctly. And then the last two, so you know, we really only gotta fix the date. So one thing to note is, when you're pulling data from HTML, you might, you most likely gonna have issues with your data type, so you're gonna have to correct. All right, so that was that. Let's go with uh, another URL. Let's go to the bank rate one. So let's copy that URL and let's paste it here. So we paste it and let's run it. Um, let's see how big it is. All right, I'm gonna scroll up five. So I found five tables. So let's just uh, take a look at each of them and see what it found. So D of zero, it got CD term and CD rate national average. Um, so let's go to the website and see where it picked that from. Whoops, here we go. National averages, and then we got e 0.72, 0.94. 0.72 actually no I didn't pick that up 
Where in the world did it pick that up from? It must have picked it up from down here. Um, oh, here we go. It picked it up from this this area here. Uh, CD one through five point seven eight to one thirty five. So when we go over here, you'll see that that's what it did. And then there's five tables. So let's go to the second one and um, four columns. Go over here and uh, we scroll down. So here are the four columns: six months to five years. So. As you can see, it does a pretty good job in, in just picking up the data for you. But again, if you do df.info, you'll probably see there's some issues. Actually, we gotta change it to D. You'll see that, oh, that was my mistake. You'll see that, uh, see the terms are all objects, object, object, object. Right, so you see that. You're gonna have to figure out how to get rid of the percentages or convert it to numbers. So there's gonna be some some data wrangling you're gonna have to figure out. But anyways, I thought it's a cool thing that you're able to pull data from a URL and you can do it via the read underscore HTML function. So I hope you liked that video. Uh, if you want more Pandas tutorials, please check out the description. Thanks.